Hey guys, it's DomTag92. I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to overclock your sanity breach processor using the CPU ratio. So first of all, we have to go to AI Overclock Tuner and change that to manual mode. And down to internal PLL over voltage and put that to enabled. Then memory frequency, I'm running at 1866. Then down to DRAM timing control manually set the uh, timing of your RAM. I'm running 9, 10, 9, 28, and 2. Down to Digi Plus power control. Um, for CPU load line, I'm going to be using high. Then for voltage frequency, I usually put mine up a bit to 4. So I'm going to put 400 just to help the power delivery. Then phase control, you can leave on extreme. Then power duty you can put to extreme. Then current capabilities are put up to 140%. Then the rest you can leave on auto as I'm not going to be overclocking the RAM, so that's fine on its default values. Now we go down to CPU voltage, put it in manual mode, and I'm going to be putting 1.36 for my 2700K for 4.7 gigahertz. And to, for the DRAM, I'll put 1.5 volts for my G-Skill. Sometimes varies on what you're running, maybe 1.65. But then the rest we can leave on Odo as the motherboard does a pretty good job of um, doing that automatically. Then we can disable spread spectrum. Now I go to CPU configurations. We can disable, execute disable bit as we don't need that. Now down to CPU power management. This is where you put your CPU ratio. As I'm going for 4.7 gigahertz, I typed 47 here. Disable Intel speed step as I don't want the frequency to do, uh, be jumping around, so I just want constant. And the rest you can leave on ODA. So that's about it. I like to also say that I was using a custom water cooling loop. So if you're using air cooling, perhaps shoot for a bit less, maybe 4.4, 4.5 gigahertz. And I'll also be releasing another video on how to overclock your sanity bridge processor using the turbo function. And also, thanks for watching.